And Lauren Tom now joins us for this week's Ag Minute. And Lauren, you've brought us a lot of interesting topics over the last few months, but this is one I certainly would not have thought of. Today we're going to be talking about the origin of ketchup, and I would imagine it's got to be the number one condiment on anybody's plate. It is. It's number one, but it's a toss-up between ketchup and salsa. Well, no matter how you spell it, ketchup is America's favorite condiment, but it took a lot of refining to get it just right. In fact, the original ketchup recipe didn't even contain tomatoes. The roots of ketchup are closely linked to, of all things, pickles. Hundreds of years ago, the Chinese and Malaysians used brine from pickled fish as dipping sauces. It was known as ketchup. Oh, and it didn't even contain tomatoes. In the 1600s, traders brought the idea to the Brits, who bottled up these succulent sauces and called them ketchup except their version of ketchup was just a little bit tart. In the mid-19th century, ketchup was finally made with tomatoes and sugar, which gave it a sweeter taste. The growing really took off in the 1870s when the young Heinz company started selling their bottled ketchup, and the recipe hasn't changed since. Ketchup has ingredients that stimulate all five of your taste buds. Maybe that's why the average American eats three bottles of ketchup a year. Well, moving on to Twyla Trivia. Last week we asked you what state produces the most blueberries. The answer is Maine. Now for this week's trivia question. What percentage of U.S. households have a bottle of ketchup in the fridge? Is it A, 97%, B, 98%, or is it C, 99%? Log on to twilighttv.org to submit your answer, and we'll send one lucky correct entry of This Week in Louisiana Agriculture coffee mug and, as a bonus this week, an assortment of Louisiana products.